For the brand with the four rings, lightweight design has been a cornerstone for long, and the future of lightweight design has already begun. In 2010, the Audi Lightweight Design Center created a new division which centers its efforts on fiber-reinforced plastics. Targeting the next evolutionary step, Audi engineers are pushing the boundaries of how to combine such diverse materials as aluminium, steel, magnesium alloy and carbon fiber reinforced plastic. Consequently, on the latest Tech Day, Audi presented its integrated lightweight design strategy as well as new prototypes. Of course, we are complementing the use of aluminium materials and high-tech steel with carbon fiber reinforced plastics. We are working on finding solutions that are economically viable for large series production. To achieve this, Audi has developed an intricate software that simulates the performance of composite materials of every possible real-life situation, including a crash. A new software enables us to simulate the structures of these new composite materials. Thus, we are able to develop structures which absorb twice as much energy as metal. As we can see here, in case of a crash, we can absorb a lot of energy with a short structure and still keep the cabin safety intact. The objective is to use composite materials not just for obvious parts such as bonnets or mudguards, but for all possible components. This is a typical carbon part for the car body. But naturally, we are using these materials also for structural components where it plays out its characteristics even better. With our multi-material mix, we are headed towards the next evolutionary step in lightweight design. Meaning, the best steel varieties are combined with the best aluminium varieties with the carbon fiber sorts or other composite materials. That's where we want to go in the future. And we're pretty optimistic Audi will take the lead in lightweight design all over again once we've made this step. The next step is reflected in a prototype of an Audi R8 5.2 TFSI Quattro. For the first time, the roof and the floor plates are made of composite materials. The first series production model to integrate this mix of materials is the Audi R8 GT. This model is another 100 kilograms lighter, something we've achieved by using carbon as material for the side blade, the spoiler, the tailgate and the bumper. New technology carriers presented at the latest Audi Tech Day show the direction of where the Audi lightweight design in terms of the best possible mix of materials is heading. The Audi TTS Coupe serves as technology carrier for weight reducing measures. The series model is already a lightweight with 1,470 kilograms. Parts of carbon fiber reinforced plastic, lightweight seats and further parts take another 80 kilograms off the scale. Comparing prototype and series model, both vehicles come with the common 2.0 TFSI engine with 200 kilowatts or 272 horsepower. The prototype's advantage is most noticeable in the increased lateral dynamics. The second technology carrier in the guise of an Audi A5 has been identified as an attractive candidate. The body is genuine handiwork. Aluminium components and carbon fiber reinforced plastic parts, such as the bonnet and the tailgate, have, among other measures, helped reduce the weight down to 1,400 kilograms. Boasting the 2.5 TFSI five-cylinder engine with 300 kilowatts or 408 horsepower, the power-to-weight ratio reduces to 3.4 kilograms, even better than the powerhouse Audi RS5. Also taking aim at the future of lightweight with a consistent concept of their own is Audi's Italian subsidiary, Lamborghini. The Italian super sports car manufacturer built their first carbon fiber body already in the early 80s. Since 1985, the high-tech material is an integral part of Lamborghini's series production. This decision was by no means a marketing point. In fact, there were three reasons in favor of it. One is the weight reduction. Another one is the stiffness, torsional stiffness of the body. And the third one is the safety. 
Having in mind these three main goals, uh, the only answer, the key word we have is the carbon fiber. Lamborghini is the only car manufacturer which runs the entire development and production process of their carbon fiber reinforced plastics division in-house. From small parts to the new monocoque car body, Lamborghini produces every composite component in their brand new production facility at Santa Gata near the Italian city of Bologna. The strategic decision for us was to keep the production in-house, to control the technology, to have a better and faster development, to have a product which is the maximum performance and the maximum quality we can, we can assure, and to have the technology controlled by Lamborghini. The intensive use of carbon fiber materials is the foundation for the outstanding driving dynamics of each Lamborghini. And it is not just the innovative quality regarding the development and manufacture of carbon fiber structures that keep impressing. In the new car, we will have uh, the entire chassis made in carbon fiber, plus some aesthetical parts like the engine bonnet, like the hair duct for the cooling system, and probably some also parts, some, some parts of the interiors. The latest model Aventador turns a new page. It is the first time that a monocoque structure entirely made from carbon fiber forms the basis of a Lamborghini, which is to ensure that the super sports car under the sign of the Taurus follows in the footsteps of its predecessor and obtains once again best in class values when it comes to curb weight. We can say that the new model will be 90 kilo lighter and uh, this is mainly coming from the new chassis where we have achieved a reduction of 30% compared to the previous one, but we have worked globally in all parts of the car, means in the suspension field, in the powertrain field, and in the body pallet also. Audi and Lamborghini. The first stands for premium cars in large-scale production, the latter for exceptional sports cars in small series production. Two sides of the same coin following individual paths on the way to an identical goal, keeping the best in class performance when it comes to lightweight.